What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to find and fix a magnesium problem in your plants. How's everybody doing today? Jason from Toadstool Gardens. Today I'm going to show you guys how to spot and fix a magnesium deficiency. And if you look right there, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a yellowing plant with spots. Perfect example of a magnesium deficiency. It's going to be discolored. Now this goes for pepper plants, tomato plants, pretty much any plant the way it's going to show a magnesium deficiency is these spotted leaves. You can see how the leaves are yellowing and the veins are staying green. Clear cut magnesium deficiency. I will show you how to fix it because this one right here was showing the same thing about a week ago and I gave it magnesium. So a lot of people like to use different things. I like to use your everyday Epsom salt. You gotta make sure it says magnesium sulfate right on it. And right here at the bottom where my thumb is, you wanna make sure it has something to do with plants on the label. Cause if it doesn't, most likely it has additives in it like to, to make it smell better or last longer or whatever but a lot of times those additives will actually hurt your plants and that's when people go wrong on epsom salt so a lot of people like to use cal mag too which is perfectly fine if that works for you then go for it i just uh i don't like the uh percentage of fertilizer you get in most cal mags because it's so low, you're basically paying for almost nothing. If you use something like uh, the Epsom salt or the mag or a straight like uh, magnesium sulfate, which is technically Epsom salt also, and Epsom salt isn't really a salt, it's just categorized as a salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix some up. I like to use about one to two tablespoons per gallon. So we're gonna mix them up and write this. All right, so another thing I wanted to, another thing I wanted to show you guys is um, when I do my magnesium sulfate, I always uh, add it to my fish fertilizer because this fish fertilizer has a ton of ground up fish bone in it so it's excellent for calcium so anytime i fertilize my plants i usually add the epsom salt right in with the fish fertilizer now i add the epsom salt like once a month sometimes twice so every two to three weeks or so and the fish fertilizer, I like to do every, oh, probably two to three weeks also, just depending on rain, but obviously in the greenhouse, you know, I'm not getting any rain. So, I'm gonna start with my Epsom salt. Looks like we got a little wet. All right, so I got my two to three tablespoons of Epsom salt. I usually do one scoop per oh, watering can. Now I'm gonna do two scoops of my fish fertilizer. Not only is this fertilizer, but like I said before, it's full of magnesium, it's full of uh, calcium. And that's another thing too, 
if you're uh, if you're adding a ton of calcium to your plants because maybe you have a calcium deficiency, there's a good chance that you have caused it to go into lockout because if you don't add magnesium when you add calcium, that's what'll happen. You'll add too much calcium, your plant will go into lockout because magnesium helps the plant uptake calcium. So it's always a good idea to add both. Hence, that's why a lot of people use the CalMag product. All right. Get our water. Put that on high so it mixes up that magnesium sulfate and it mixes up that fish fertilizer real well. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to give this plant a nice long water in. I usually don't go over about 20 seconds, just depending on how big my dish is. That's another thing. You, I, I like to make these berms around my plant so they actually hold the water and fertilizer that I'm giving them versus running off into the garden. I'll give this guy a little bit more. leaf off that's touching the ground. My jalapenos are starting to come in. So yeah, just make sure for best results you're adding calcium and magnesium to your plants, especially in raised beds and pots. Because you're gonna deplete that magnesium and calcium in relatively all fertilizers much faster than in the ground. So, until next time, give me a like. If you learned something, subscribe. Check out all my videos. Jason from Toes to the Gardens. Happy growing.